Typically, when I'm done with the development, I may have as many as 20 versions, but it really will save you if you've really screwed up. And, and when you're working with a lot of com complex action scripting, scripting, that's easy to do. So we're on this now. Let's go ahead and run that project, and you can do that at your convenience. And what we're going to do now is we're going to build the component, okay? So we, we've got uh, the screen kind of built out. Let's go back to design view. What you're going to want to make sure that you're at, that you are in state one, okay? And you can see at the bottom I have my three, it's because I'm not in state, so we'll make sure in state one. So I have my, uh, all the stuff I've been trying to build out. And uh, there we go. And that's my state one. And what I want to do now is I want to build that component. Okay, so I can sit, stick there right in the center of the screen. So it's a little bit uh, tricky here because I have to work inside a state in order to do that. So first let's build the component. Anybody have an idea what we might do? Go to your components folder. Right click on your components folder and do what? New. And what do I want to hit? MXML component. So what you're actually doing is you're building a custom component. All right, let's go ahead and click on that. And uh, the first choice is Canvas, but you can build all types of different components. You see, you can, I mean, it's just about everything here under the sun. You can build combo boxes, you can build data grids, you can build uh, tile boxes. It's just tons and tons of stuff you can do. For this, we're going to choose Canvas. Stay with that. And we'll just let it be 400 by 300, but we'll change that size here in a few moments, all right? So I'm going to hit OK. Give it a file name. I'm going to call it um, state uh, 01 component. All right. Whatever you want to call it, the name doesn't matter. And if you open up your components folder there, there it is right there. Okay. And now let's take a look at what needs to go into that component. Anybody know? We'll go back to my design document, the one that my designers created for me. If you see, there's two faint images right there, and then there's also a welcome text. So I need to put two image boxes in this component and a welcome text. So basically what that is is just two images and uh, some lorem ism for some type of a welcome. So I'm going to open up my components folder. So go window, components, all right. And I'm going to drag some stuff out on stage. And on the canvas, now I'm on the canvas right now, so whatever I put here goes on here. My canvas does not yet exist on the stage. So go ahead and drag two image boxes out. Okay. And drag out a text area box. Now if you're used to HTML programming, you go, boy, this changes your life. Because if you know about HTML pro programming, it's not easy to put something somewhere. Here you can just drag and put wherever you want. This is called absolute positioning, and you can do that in a canvas. If you're another component, you can't always do that, but in a canvas you can. And so what I want to do, I want to, kind of, and since stretch this canvas out a little bit, so I'm just opening it up a little bit, about to 500 or so. I get a little tooltip showing me how big it is, and I'll widen it up a little bit. And I can reposition this once I get it on the other stage. And I'm going to put those images in there. So what do I do to get those images? Flex properties, right? And I'm going to bring in house one. So on your first image, go ahead and uh, let me open my screen up a little bit. Use that little nav photo folder and navigate to your SRC and put house one there from your assets folder. You want to do the same thing for the second one? It is click on that, and when you click on that, that's highlighted in the uh, flex properties window. Go ahead and bring up your flex properties, and let's go ahead and bring in house two there. And now you have house one and house two. Okay? And the next thing you want to do is open up that text area box a little bit. And I've already got some lore missing in the other folder uh, in the other file. Now let me show you how I'm going to get that. See how I got these uh, two projects up here? Uh, state 1, that's my component, and just Mike Project 2. I can click on that. That takes me right to the other place. 
I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, double click on here, just grab this uh, Laura Mitson. I'm just going to copy it. Go back to my state one component. And I'm going to double click and just paste it right in there. And I don't want that announcements piece right there. This is just welcome Lauren Ipsen. And that's it. I just built my first component. Of course, the next key is getting this on the stage. Okay? So I can close that, you know. And last me, do I want to save it? Of course I do. I don't want to go through that pain again. And if I go back and I want it again, I can just go back to my nav menu, so Windows Flex Navigator. I can open that up and look in my components folder. And in my components folder, there's that state. And if I double click on it, there it is. Okay? So you can build as many states as you want. It can be as complex as they want. These states can actually, these components can have states in them, and you can navigate states inside a component. So you're gonna make extremely complex components, and you want to do that. You want to build tons of components that when if you have another project somewhere else, you just copy and paste that component right in it. All right, and that's one of our goals, especially with the 3D stuff. We found out we could build 3D um, uh, flex components. So whenever you want a spinning house or a 3D room, you just throw that component into your program. So you can mix and match, match these things. So now we want, to, want it to actually bring this into the stage. So, you go, you, so let me walk around make sure everyone's got the uh, basic component. And then we're going to pull this into our stage, and you'll be done with page one. Yeah, you should just save it. You can leave it on the stage, whatever, but when you run it, it'll want to save. If you try to close flex, it'll want to save. So pay attention to those or you'll lose all your work.